Hello and welcome to this week's episode of Advice from Your Besties. Hey, where we answer your questions. And we have some. Yes, we do. <laughs> Let's get to them. Okay, first question. Would you rather date someone who is always downplaying themselves or someone who is super cocky? Cocky. Hmm. I think I would get so... your... No. No, if it was like a humble thing, like, oh, yeah, you know, no big deal. I didn't say humble. I would say, like, just downplaying, like, no. I think cocky would be, like, really annoying. That's okay. We all need to be more cocky. (laughs) Just confidence. (laughs) But it would be, like, over the top. They're probably the best at what they're doing. Or not. Well, we're reading into these questions. (laughs) I chose... I would say... It's a toss-up. I don't know. Downplay. Okay. Yeah. I've got one. Okay. Would you rather be bored in a relationship that lasts forever? Or would you rather be with the love of your life for a year? Oh. Mm, I think the love of my life for a year. Yeah. Because that would really leave an imprint on you. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. Some long-lasting memories. Would you rather say everything you're thinking out loud or never speak again? Ooh. <laughs> I guess everything I'm thinking. 100%. Which I already do. You already do. So you're already there. Pretty comfortable. Would you like to hear the same song forever or the same TV show forever? Mm -hmm. Can I pick the song and the TV show? Why can't I have a follow-up question to the no, question? Just yes or no. That's what the challenge Wait, what was. Wait, Same song or same TV show. Um, rest of your life. Same song. No shit. Yeah. I would have thought you said, would say TV show. Well, I would pick a song that's not annoying. Well. That was like yep. ambient noise. Okay. Yep. Sure. <laughs> no one asked you to clarify, but yeah. Well, what would you pick? Same song. 100%. What song would you pick? Well, I don't know about that one. <laughs> I don't have one prepared. <laughs> that was not the question. <laughs> I don't know. Just, just trying to ask you a question. Oh, a follow-up I question. Don't, I don't have one. Maybe the one by Talking Heads. Which one is that? My life or something. Oh, is it EDM-ish? No. Oh, is it rock? Is no. it alternative? Is it? I'll look it up. Once I'm... in a lifetime. How did I get here? Is this my life? I don't know. I guess being pretty excited. I don't know. You know what? That's a great question. I don't know. I don't know. I'll look. I'll figure it out. And I'll report back next week. Yeah. Okay, let me know. What song would you pick? I don't know a title of a song that I would pick, but it would be, I told you, it would be like an ambient <laughs> Oh, okay. Okay. sound. Was it like, like Enya where it's just like. I actually kept thinking Enya. It kept coming to my brain. <laughs> I don't know. I picked it right out of your brain. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Well. Okay. Is it better to ghost a friend or tell them you don't want to be friends anymore? I would say it depends on the friendship and the level of friendship. So, friend that you've been friends with forever, you probably want to tell them, like. We didn't tell her. Yeah, I did. Oh, you did? Yeah. I just ghosted yeah, no, I straight up told her, like, we're not going to be friends anymore. Oh. Yeah. It's kind of badass, by the way. Yeah. I told her, and then I blocked her. <laughs> like, yeah. And then I unblocked her so she could respond at some point. <laughs> and then I think she did. And then it was just, like, just finalizing, like, hey, like, yep, it ran its course. Like, thank you for the memories. Oh. And Why did that person have to go so douche? Such a douche yeah. thing to say. So You're like, okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, yep, I have literally nothing else to say. Okay. Oh, I just blocked. (laughs) I sent, I fired off a bunch and then blocked it. That is my go-to That is your go-to move. If you ever, ever cross Chelsea or if like. to that we're like sending angry texts to one another. Yeah. She'll just block you. Yeah. So that you can't say anything. (laughs) You can say whatever you want. I'm not receiving the message. But where I get lucky is that I can send messages. Do the people know when they're getting blocked? Nope. No, they don't. It's brilliant. Okay. So, yeah, I would say, like, if you had a, a really long friendship, you should definitely tell them. This is what I have to say. Which is better? I would rephrase that. Which is easier? Because mm-hmm. I think having the courage to tell someone, yo, this isn't working, mm-hmm. is not easy. Mm-mm. No. 
I don't know about you guys, but I don't frequently do the breaking up with. Mm -hmm. I usually am the recipient of people breaking up with me. Mm -hmm. So I don't have a lot of experience telling someone an honest thing that doesn't work in their favor. So sometimes, unfortunately, ghosting is easier and there's less confrontation. So, of course, telling them this isn't working would be ideal because I know when dating, this has happened to me once or twice where mm -hmm. they're like, mm, this is done. Thank you. Best of luck. <laughs> You're good. You're good. <laughs> so my ex. <laughs> For biblical times. <laughs> I'm going to be like, you good? I'm going to get you anything from the drawer? <laughs> it's like, he's like ghosting you afterwards. Like, it's like, he's, it's like we're done, but we're not saying we're done. Like, you good? Yeah. Well, yeah. So, uh, you know, I would say if it's more of like a casual friendship or newer friendship and it just doesn't pick off or like take off, you know, it just like fizzles out naturally. There's not really anything to say. Yeah, no harm, no problem. Yeah. And if I feel like you kind of know if it's running its course, and if both people are just like not making an effort, well, no one needs to say anything. Well, here's where you need to say something. If the other party is still trying to engage mm -hmm. and they don't understand because they don't have, they've never been given a reason in which the first party is trying to leave. Sure. So they can't. You know, it would be, I always say that relationships should be re reversed engineered. Like if, if at the end of the relationship, what does it look like? Like, are you unhappy or are you going crazy or something like that? You should know those things ahead of time. How do you break up with someone is also something that should be discussed mm. ahead of time. So yes. And even then I would have been like, no, I will go so shit out of you. <laughs> <laughs> I think you have to know that if you're going to break up with a friend and this has been a dear friend, it's going to be rough. It's not going to feel good. It's not going to feel good, but I th it feels better knowing that you said it and it's done and there's closure instead of like the lingering of guilt. Guilt. That's how I felt about my hairdresser. Yeah, you felt so guilty. She was a good person. Yeah. We were friends. Yeah. And because we were friends, the fact that I ghosted makes it feel complicated and like oh i thought we were friends and now you don't even like dignify me by dignify our relationship by at least telling me what's up so i did have to explain to her and ask for her forgiveness yeah that's sometimes like i don't know this hasn't happened in a long time but if a patient just like stops coming in and they've been with me for so long I'm like dude i thought we we're friends like Ex where's my goodbye letter exactly yeah yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. and we were friends and i just let her down whether she knows it or not so, so you shouldn't ghost is what you're saying. Yeah, but sometimes it's not easy to confront. I know I'm not yeah. having a great time confronting things that need to be kind of tied up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's hard. But it's also like dating, right? Where you're just kind of like, mm, maybe I'll circle back. Maybe they'll be different. Mm -hmm. I know. And there's also friends that I'm like, I'm trying to like put an effort in but you're not giving me an effort back. So I don't know why I'm trying to deal with all this chaos oh, of trying to make a plan. Saying. I know. who. Yeah. I think it's okay to be done. I t we told each other last yeah. time <laughs> when we talked about this person, we were both going to be done. Did we not? Yeah. I felt like we had a support. No, this is a different person. Huh? It's just like, I guess I'll just keep them in like the acquaintance category. Is that the person I'm thinking of? I don't think so. The one we both share? No. No, and it's just like, why do I put forth? Oh, in I can't chart? wait to hear who it is up here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, so I don't know, to ghost or not to ghost, it's hard, but I think if you if you got the courage, just yeah, do it. You know what? It is a good exercise in like also, honoring your voice. Yeah. For your hair girl, this is why I didn't feel guilty. This is a tip for everyone. If you're going to abandon your hair girl, your Botox girl, your mm -hmm. esthetician, whoever, let them know and send them, like, one or two referrals their way. Be like, but I'm going to send you, like, my friend. Yeah, then you mm -hmm. can sleep tight at night mm -hmm. and look yourself in the mirror. Yeah. I did, in fact, do that. I yep. gave her, like, three people. Yeah. You, Liz, Crazy Liz? Yeah. Right? I think so, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. 
and from the mountains. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> And then, yeah, so I feel like I'm good. Yeah. I do feel like there should be a discount applied to my thing. <laughs> Where's my referral? get that yeah. every time. Anyway, <laughs> at least so far. Okay. So I think this concludes this week's episode, unless you have anything to say. No, I, that's all my advice that I have for you today. Which is quite a bit. Yep. <laughs> Words of wisdom flowing out of my mouth. Yeah. To ghost or not to ghost. That is the question. Yeah, indeed. Yeah. So let us know what you think. Yeah. Ghosting. And is ghosting any different for friends versus relation, like romantic relationships? I'd be interested to hear everyone's mm-hmm. take on that. Yeah. So unfortunately, that's the end of our favorite, favorite segment. Segment. So we will see you next week. Bye. Disclaimer, this podcast is for entertainment purposes only. The stories and statements expressed herein are experiences and opinions. They may not represent the views of the production studio or the hosts. If you disagree with our content, that's okay. No podcast is perfect for everyone.